this session we will discuss about the silent characteristics of the other primates. Primates exhibit a wide range of characteristics. Some primates, like the great ape and baboons, do not live primarily on trees, but nevertheless, all species are adapted to the arboreal habits. Primates are characterized by the large brain in relation to other mammals, as well as an increased reliance on stereoscopic vision, and the sensory system is more dominant than other mammals. These features are most significantly developed in monkeys and apes, and noticeably lays in lorises and lemurs. Three color visions are also found developed in some primates. Most of them possess prehensile tails. Many species of primates are dimorphic, possessing separate male and female physical attributes. Differences in body mass, size of the canine teeth, and coloration are found in many of the species. Primates show slower rate of development as compared to other mammals. They mature late but have a longer span of life. Characteristics of the primate can be studied under three headings such as habit, habitat and distribution, physical features and biochemical and metabolic function. Primates are usually divided into two suborder, Prosimi and Anthropoidea. The suborder Prosimi include lemurs and eye eyes of Madagascar, lorises and tarsiers of Africa and Southeast Asia. All the Prosimians are nocturnal and arboreal in their habit. The suborder Anthropoidea is represented by the superfamily Siboidea, the Sarcopithecoidea, and the Hominoidea Siboidea, to which the New World monkeys belong. The Sarcopithecoidea, to which the Old World monkeys belong, and the Hominoidea to which apes and human beings belong. New World monkeys live in tropical forests of South and Central America. They are characterized by flat noses with widely separated outward flaring nostrils. All are arboreal possessing long prehensile tails. These features and a 2 is 2, 1 is 2, 3 is 2, 3 dental formulas distinguish them from the old world monkeys. They walk on all fours with their palm down and scramper along trees in search of fruit. Old world monkeys, inhabitants of Africa and Asia, may be either arboreal or terrestrial, using quadrupedal pattern of locomotion on the ground as well as in the trees in a palm-down position. The arboreal species include the Guriza monkey, the Asiatic langur, and the strange-looking proboscis monkey, etc. Several species of baboons are largely terrestrial and diurnal in their habit. The superfamily Hominoidea consists of four families. There are Hylobitidae, Pongidae, Panidae, and Hominidae. The prominent members of the family Hylobitidae are the Gibbons and the Siamyang of Southeast Asia. Though Gibbons are found on the ground, they possess an awkward movement rather like an inefficient bipedalist. They are frugivorous as well as 
insectivores, but sometimes they really birds' eggs as well as small birds. The orangutan of the family, Pongidi, is confined only in Southeast Asia. This ape is almost completely arboreal, but is developed enough to build a roof nest of twigs and branches and live up high in the tree tops for the night. The chimpanzees and the gorillas are the prominent members of the family Panidae. The chimpanzees are the most familiar non-human primates and are basically forest dwellers. These arboreal apes are found in large numbers in the tropical forests of Africa. Though the teams use their advanced primate intellect to construct nests of leaves on the treetops, they have no permanent homes. They are vegetarians, living off mostly on ripe tree fruits. The other member of the Panidae family is the gorilla, another native African ape. It is the largest of the primates. They are fiercely aggressive and most hostile. Gorillas are mostly ground dwellers, but sleep in trees in carefully constructed nests at night. They feed mainly leaves and shoots of more than 100 species of plants. The family Hominidae includes one genus Homo, which is represented by humans all over the world. They are found in most terrestrial communities and generally live at a relatively high population densities, frequently in population concentration. Humans live in a complex societies, exhibiting particularly elaborate economic system and technological. Humans are habitual bipeds in walking and running motions the body has only one support at the time. They are hunter, gatherers, omnivores. Food is generally prepared by cooking, shocking, massing, and often stored for the future. Primates can be classified into four categories on the basis of their social organization. They are solitary individual, peered, one male, that is harem, and multi-male groups. One male group contains one adult man, two or more adult females, and a variable number of immature individuals. Multi-male groups have at least two adult males. The mother-infant relationship is the primary social link among all primates. In group living primates, relationship between females and successive generations of the female offsprings usually form the core of the group. Primate social groups become stable only on migration of the sexually matured individuals. In case the female migrates, leaving their natal groups, the core group is formed by a set of related males. This kind of relationship is seen among the spider monkeys and the chimpanzee. Among the most important characteristic features in the evolutions of vocal and facial displays are increased stereoscopic and colored vision, increased facial mobility, Decreased mobilities of the ear, increased manipulative ability, as well as manual dexterity. Primate vocalization is one aspect of primate behavior that can lead to a better understanding of the evolution of human vocal communication and the invention of human culture. Examinations of facial 
and vocal displays of primate has revealed a very striking feature in the amount of parallel evolution. Primate vocal and facial displays are two of the few sources of information about the origin of human symbolic vocal communication, that is, language. Man is unique in that he developed culture. Culture is a biological phenomena. It is a product of evolutionary process. Culture is a trait which only one genus of primate, that is, man, has developed. Brain size relative to the body size is seen in primates. The cerebrum is enlarged compared to the size of the midbrain and the brain stem in primates. Anthropoids have a larger brain than prosimians. Hominoids have a larger brain than monkeys. The cortex is divided topologically into several distinct and is involved in behavior such as aggression, sex, feeding, fear, and a range of attention biases and behavioral predispositions. Primates have well-developed limbic system. The brain is made up of functional units called neurons, which have an excitable surface and which sends out signals. These cells are complex in shape, possessing long appendages known as dendrites. Dendrites generally receive stimulation from other neurons, an action which primarily stimulates other cells. Neurons and their dendrites are called gray matter. Exon bundles are called white matter. There are two typical kinds of gray matter. Nuclei, which receive inputs from one direction and the other located on the surface of the brain, known as cortex. Primate sense organs have been evolved as a part of their adaptation to their arboreal life. The sense of smell was vital in nocturnal ground-dwelling primates as it enabled them to operate at night, to sniff out their food and to detect silent predators. Good vision provided with the ability to lead them to food. Slowly, the sense of smell declined as vision became highly developed. Binocular vision helps Ave and humans to just depth and distance perception. Enhanced vision also relates to the individual appearance and expressiveness of the primate face vital to primate social behaviors. Arboreal primates also possesses an acute sense of thoughts. The early mammals from which the primate evolved possesses tiny touch sensitive ears at the tip of their hands and feet in higher primates. These were replaced by fingers and toes. Among primates, the train of evolution has been towards the reduction in the number of teeth. The general train of dental evolution in the primates has been the retention of a fairly primitive molar pattern, that is Y pattern, and specialization of the other teeth. The incisor teeth are reduced in size and usually to a number. The canines tend to become large and very soft. The canines are usually much larger in males than in females. Proposition of different teeth vary according to different dietary categories. 
frugivorous have relatively large incisor teeth and often smaller cheek teeth. Folivores have smaller incisors while spacing eating tougher or more abrasive food often have large cheek teeth. The elementary canal is relatively unspecialized in most primates. The food source is high in cellulose, which is tough and indigestible with presence of alkaloids and other secondary compounds. Colobines have an evolved complex seculated stomach in which the gut bacteria break down cellulose and potentially toxic substances. Sarcopithecines have thick pulses in which food is stored and softened for preliminary digestion. Primates like gorilla have enlarged intestine to help digestion of the foliage diet. Teams and humans have smaller stomach and larger small intestine, presumably as adaptation to a more omnivorous diet. As a generalization, primates have diets in which food items are unpredictably distributed spatially. Food and its distribution are critical factors in molding adaptation of several kinds. The skeletal system has numerous adaptation for upright posture, flexibility. The changes that have been observed in the skull have led to the deduction that four major functional changes have occurred. The development of upright posture is one of the reasons for the movement of the foramen magnum forward on the base of the skull. Below the primate skull and neck is the clavicle or collarbone whose size differs in different primates. In monkeys, it is reduced while in apes like the gorilla, it is broad orienting the arms in the side. The clavicle supporting the scapula allows arms movement for the big apes to hang suspended from the branches of the trees. In the primate arms, the single upper long bone and the two long bones in the lower portion with five radiating digits gives them a grasping ability. The feet and hands are provided with sensitive pads like back with flattened nails. This provides them a unique prehensile device to be used while moving from branch to branch. The retention of flexible vertebrae limb was a valuable asset to evolving humans. It enables our ancestors to manufacture and use tools to embark on the evolutionary path to adapt through culture. Primates reproduce relatively late and infrequently. In reproduction, females are more important than the biological places, constraints on reproductive rates, although many species have physiological and behavioral cycle related to reproduction. The sexual cycle in females consists of three linked phenomena such as a menstrual cycle of variable length, an ovarian cycle of variable length involving the release of generally one ovum or egg, and an ostrich cycle consisting of 
the rise and fall of mating associated behaviors. Gestation period lasts for six to nine months. Infants are born with brain, roughly half the volume of the adults. During lactation and prior to weaning, sexual cycle is first totally and then partially suppressed. This is known as the postpartum or lactation amenorrhea. The studies of amino acid sequence showed that protein evolution accelerated when life radiated into new physical mutations were then selected at new functional sites in proteins. The first method of amino acid sequencing was developed in the 1950s and within a few years was being used on the fibrinopeptides A and B from various mammals. The fibrinopeptide sequence of humans, chimpanzees and gorillas are identical and differ from those of the orangutan in only two of their 30 positions and from those of Siamyang and Gibbon in one or three further positions respectively. Most of the amino acid sequences from different animals have come from myoglobins and hemoglobins. The myoglobin of mammals and other vertebrates is a single chain protein typically 153 amino residues long. It is involved in oxygen storage in muscle. Hemoglobin, the oxygen transporting protein of red blood corpuscles, is made up of four chains to identical alpha and beta chain, having 141 and 146 residues each. The amino acids in the alpha and beta chains of hemoglobin in hominoids vary in seven positions. In the myoglobin sequence, the difference among hominoids show up in four positions. Comparative study of the serum proteins by using two-dimensional star gel electrophoresis and agar gel precipitin testing demonstrate that certain types of proteins have evolved more slowly than other types during the radiation of the primates. When the members of the hominoid compare with each other, they saw that the differences among the various hominoid types are much larger than those found between macaques and baboons. Indeed, the various species of the subfamily Sarcopithecidae show a high degree of similarity. Although the star cell pattern of each hominoid type diverses softly from the others, there is a constellation of about 10 faster migrating proteins in men, chimpanzees, and gorilla, but not in given and orangutan. Thus, it demonstrates that by studying protein serum, Maine is most closely related to the African apes than the Asiatic apes. From the above discussion, we can conclude that primates possess a common character, though they vary in certain characteristics. By studying primate characteristics, we can gain a better understanding of what human characteristic we owe to our general primate ancestry and what traits are uniquely ours as humans.